Hello all, I'm Jonathan Kalodimos. I'm a finance professor at Oregon State University, and I created this uh, AI-powered finance tutor to help you learn intro to finance at the undergraduate level. This should be viewed as a prototype that's rapidly changing, um, but I wanted to roll it out for the summer 2024 class that is being taught. So to access this tool, um, you can go to financetutor.ai and you'll be taken to a landing page like this. If you click on get started, it's gonna take you to this other app, financetutor.streamlit.app. Um, this is going to change over time, but for now I needed something to get it working. Now this tool, let me just give you a quick explanation of how this is different than using something like ChatGPT directly. The, the key thing here is that this tool is rooted in the textbook for an intro to finance course. So ChatGPT and other AI tools widely available are significantly more powerful, but they're going to incorporate information that's outside this course. So this tool you can view as a sandbox just for your course and is trying to really teach you just what you need to know and not confuse you. So what I've done is created a couple different um, modes to help you here. There's quick questions, in-depth explanation, homework help, and then what I call create a study guide. Quick questions are exactly that, quick questions. So you could ask, what is CAPM, which is a concept that you'll, you'll learn. Now, one thing you'll notice is that this is a lot slower than ChatGPT, and that's because it's querying the textbook. And honestly, I'm not a developer, so I'm a finance professor, so I'm not as good at coding as OpenAI. Anyhow, uh, you get a quick explanation of what CAPM is. Great, fantastic. What if you want more information? Well, you can click over here on in-depth explanation and type what is CAPM. Now this tutor does have memory, so you can be conversational with it, just like any other uh, tool. Now, this gives you a much more uh, thorough explanation, some of the key concepts, the formulas, and you know, here's an example and why it matters. This is something that I have put together as a way to teach this concept and help you retain that knowledge. Now, if we go over to ChatGPT and we say, what is CAPM? It's going to give you a fantastic answer. Um, and I, as you can see, it's much faster, but it's not structured as a, um, in the same way to help you learn this concept. And it doesn't always include examples. And really, this is just rooted within the textbook. And that's beneficial. Now, homework help is also very beneficial. So to give you an example of this, let's suppose you um, typed in a uh, multiple choice question. So I grabbed this about what is a balance or which of the following balance sheet items is classified as a fixed asset. So what it does is what it explains what a fixed access asset is it gives you a step-by-step -step breakdown of each one of those, provides a conclusion, provides, well, in this example, provides the right answer. Um, and this is designed to help you learn. There's a lot going on in the back end to implement this, uh, this, this teaching method. Now, once again, ChatGPT is going to give you a great answer. Um, but as you can see, it just spits out the answer, equipment. Same correct answer, but on an exam or um, uh, on other homeworks or in uh, contexts where you don't have access to an AI tool, you need to actually know why inventory is not considered a fixed asset. And, you know, this explains it. So this, this tool I've created is there to help you learn as opposed to just getting the right answer. Though, you know, you get the right answer also in this example. So the, the final mode here is to create a study guide. And this is a different style of mode where each, um, 
there's there's separate topics and these topics are clustered by learning objectives um, and these are the things that your professor wants you to learn about a particular topic they're not necessarily arranged by chapter so you're gonna have to use a little bit of your judgment the way to think about this is that I'm putting a particular hat on the, the AI tool to get them to talk specifically about financial statements or let's say capital budgeting or risk management. You can ask the same question, but they're going to explain the concept in a different way depending on the topic that you've selected over here. Now, to give you an example of what this um, mode will look like, Let's say we click on risk and return and we say provide Now this tool, uh, the create a study guide is querying a lot of the textbook and it does take a little bit longer to to load a complete study guide. This is something I'm trying to fix, but uh, if you'll just be patient, you'll see what uh, it will spit out. So what I've uh, created is uh, a, a backend framework for how uh, a study guide should look on a particular concept. So once again, this is um, within the risk and return con uh, context talking about CAPM, and it's going to give you an introduction, some of the important uh, or why it's important, key concepts, some formulas, break down all the components, give you some related concepts. Hopefully you'll be learning stuff about the Sharpe ratio, the trainer uh, ratio, or Jensen's alpha, uh, a quick summary of it. And then if you, um, actually, this is what you should be taking notes about and um, making sure you're, you're familiar with all these concepts. Now, if you um, went into uh, selected a topic such as f uh, fundamentals or general economics or financial analysis and asked the same question, it's going to give you very similar answers of, or a very similar study guide about CAPM but it's going to be different and more tuned to that particular environment. Hopefully you're going to find this tool helpful uh, to learning intro to finance. Um, uh, what's great about me coding this up um, personally is I can iterate very quickly based on your feedback. So please give your professor feedback and they'll pass it along to me. Um, I anticipate the, the interface will change, how things are structured will change, and all of that is going to depend on, on your feedback and how you're using it. So please reach out. Um, if you're an Oregon State University student, swing by my office. I would love your, your feedback. If you're not an Oregon State University student, please reach out uh, through that financetutor.ai website um, and provide info or feedback through the, the, the contact page or just shoot me an email at my... Oregon State uh, email address, but um, this tool is available to you to help you learn intro to finance because I know it can be tricky and I want to help you get through this course by making the concepts easier to learn. So thank you and good luck in your course.